First question comes from Alexander Smith. And this question, it's, quite, it's a good question. What are the key challenges and opportunities in public health today? The answer to this really is focused on two types of people. The one is you've just recently finished studying public health. You did an MPH or something like that. Maybe you've done, you've done a PhD and you're thinking about where do I go from here? Where do I lean into? What should I be focused on so that my career has got legs, right? So that I'm doing something that will still be relevant 10, 15, 20 years from now. And the other kind of person that should be interested in this is you're starting to study public health, right? You've, you, you're And at this time of the year, that'll be a lot of you. You're starting an MPH. Uh, you're going to be exposed to all sorts of different things. What should you focus on? Where do you want to really pay close attention? Where's the future of public health going to be? And there's a couple of things that jump off the page, and I'll tell you what I think they are. This isn't a comprehensive list, but this is just where I think if if I were studying public health today, if I was doing an MPH right now, this is what I would be focused on. The one thing that we have to acknowledge up front is that there's been a huge shift from communicable to non-communicable disease, right? And with that shift, there's gotta be a shift in focus and emphasis, right? So we're gonna talk about cardiovascular diseases and cancer, et cetera, et cetera, diabetes, uh, metabolic syndromes, et cetera. There's gonna be a huge emphasis on preventing those diseases and helping people with those diseases live healthy lives, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So certainly anybody that's interested in what the future looks like, that's gonna be increasingly the case. Having said that, okay, built into our thinking must be that Firstly, there's, there's ongoing risk of pandemic, you know, ongoing pandemic risk, right? So pandemic preparedness is going to be extremely important in the years to come. Something, and, and there's a little bit of an unknown there, right? Is there going to be another pandemic in the near future or not? Are we going to wait another 100 years? Nobody knows, but certainly things like avian influenza are on our minds. We're thinking about it. We are seeing changes to the biology of, the, of, of some of the viruses that are floating around. And it's going, pandemic preparedness is certainly going to be an important area without question in years to come. Something where there's not really a question mark, it's certainly gonna be the case that antimicrobial resistance is going, is going to be one of the biggest challenges facing us in the medical and public health space. Antimicrobial resistance or AMR is likely to contribute to about 50 million deaths a year by the year 2050. We're very unfortunately kind of stumbling into this post-antibiotic era and there, is, there are things that we can do, but we have to be proactive. It's gonna be a huge space for public health to step into. Yeah, the obvious one, of course, is climate change and health. And I've got videos out there on climate change and the impact on health and what it is we need to do to be more resilient in the face of climate change. I mean, obviously, on the one hand, we need to try and prevent and mitigate climate change itself as much as possible. But then if we accept that it is a reality, climate change is happening, 